what would you most say has changed about the music industry? Oh, I mean, when I came in, everyone was like, oh, you're crushing it, but this is a dead industry. And, you know, all the valuations were way, way down. And everyone's like, oh, you should have seen the years when we were selling cassette tapes and how many, everyone was platinum every week. And then Daniel Ek came along and transformed everything. And now it's the richest it's ever been, thanks to his vision. And people don't give him enough credit. And that's why I, if you look at those early interviews, Daniel will tell you, like, I was the manager who was like, just send him my way. Like, I was like, I'm just, everyone was crapping on them. And I would, what did you see that others didn't? Well, when I was in college during Napster, so I knew it was coming. Sure. I knew they couldn't stop it again because I used it. Sure. Um, no, I remember Napster. Yeah, I used Napster a lot. I was a big dispatch fan, thanks to Napster. <laughs> Napster. I knew it was coming. I understood it was coming. I understood it couldn't be stopped. Number two, I met Daniel because we were on a billboard list for 30 under 30. And I called everyone on the list to introduce myself because I wanted to know my peers. And there was a guy in Sweden. And I called him. He was coming to LA two weeks later. And I said, let's meet up. And we became friends. And him and Shaq didn't let me invest in damn Spotify for another year. <laughs> I was like begging Shaq and him like constantly. Um, I love those guys. And, and I'm very grateful I got in. But uh, the biggest change in the music industry is that it's become a global industry that now can be monetized. And I think it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think a company like Spotify is going to grow 10% to 12% year over year for the next 10 years. I mean, you look at the numbers and the populations that they're going into, I just only see growth from here. Yeah, no, listen, I totally agree. What would you most want an entrepreneur listening to this or a young person listening to this? Young person is probably bad, given what we've discussed. What would you most want them to take away from this chat? no matter what journey you're on as an entrepreneur, working, volunteer, founder, like we've all talked about this. We all talk amongst our friends of all different jobs. We're all pretty much going through the same thing in different ways. It's almost like all the major religions talk about the same thing. If I, if I could give anyone any takeaway from today, I, I hope that they don't take like me 39 years to get to a place where they take one week a year no phone, no email, and do a week of self-work. If you start that now, you'll be so far ahead of me.